Hi, this is the Twitter Moments Digest, the TMD podcast for Friday, July 28th, 2017. This is a look at what is trending online today from the home office, my kitchen table, uh, where we're sitting around having supper. The kids are having, uh, and my wife, having mac and cheese, and there were no clear rules about no podcasting at the table, but I'm pretty sure after this, but there will be, so let's get this done. Uh, first thing trending is the reviews of the Emoji movie. It took a long time for it to be reviewed, uh, it, and that's never a good sign when a movie isn't available to critics. The Emoji movie, there's a lot of, uh, hey, this movie is, and then people just tweeting the poop emoji. Apparently, uh, not great the emoji movie and uh there are big stars as the voices of the different emojis and by the way uh, if you didn't hear uh sir patrick stewart i want to say he's a sir sir patrick stewart i think he's sir patrick stewart he does play the voice of the poop emoji in the movie Equal time for differing points of view. This is an edit. Uh, you want to? You, so you think the the uh, my oldest kid thinks the emoji movie looked good? Did it? In the trailer. Yeah. I think. Tra- trailer looked good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was hilarious. The critics say terrible. We'll wait and see uh, after the weekend how the numbers do. But um, if you could do a trailer, if you could have all the emojis that there are, and you could do a trailer. Um, you could probably make an hilarious trailer. You can make a fantastic trailer, right? Mm-hmm. But it, when you get into like 85, 90 minutes, two hours of movie, after a while, I don't know about, I don't, I'm not sure if there are, are enough uh, poop emoji jokes, right? <laughs> this, hey, good comments, you guys. Now get your own podcast. Uh, trending today, if you ever wanted to see a Royal Canadian Mounted Police and RCMP officer chasing a bear away from a playground, a children's playground, uh, it happened in Alberta and the whole thing uh, began trending and you can watch that today. You can get all these uh, things we're talking about on our show notes. If you want to look at the photos or whatever, go to scottyandtony.com. Jennifer Aniston, this was a scoop today from, I want to say, The Hollywood Reporter, and it started trending. Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon will return to TV. Some sort of, uh, I think they went in Friends, Reese Witherspoon was a a guest star on Friends playing Jennifer Aniston's sister. And now they're going to star in a TV show, uh, something about the media scene in New York. That's If that's all your premise, but you get Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon attached to that project, it gets a green light. That's all you need. The uh, latest trailer, I'm going to show you this later on. My youngest kid is uh, very excited to see the new It. Stephen King's book uh, was made into a wonderful miniseries back in the day, and now it's being remade again. Uh, the scary, scary It movie. There's a new trailer that started trending because pretty scary, pretty fantastic. A lot of people excited about It. The tourists who all dressed up like minions, all the, my family's uh, gathered around the laptop. So they, these are tourists. They're dressed in minion suits. Look at that. And they're all rafting down this river. It doesn't look safe, but it looks fantastic. And uh, we'll wrap up on the, if you want to go through the hashtag roundup, uh, how to tell when you have a bad boss. Our boss, uh, where I work, is he's on vacation. And one of the things was uh, everything runs better when they're away. Just kidding, boss. Oh, no, we're, we're having a terrible time at work, boss. It's, it's been awful. We miss you so much. Uh, I've never seen the meme of uh, Chef Ramsay holding the two slices of bread onto someone's face and saying, what are you? And, and making the person say, I'm an idiot sandwich. That's the first time I've seen that meme. There's that uh, and all the show notes and stream the podcast or uh, subscribe to the podcast. You can get all that if you go to scottyandtony.com. Thanks for listening. This has been the Twitter Moments Digest.